good morning uh, last time we have studied the addition of the two vectors the three different methods we have discussed the first is the triangle law method of vector addition second is parallelogram law of vector addition and the third method is the polygon law of vector addition so today we are going to study how to perform the subtraction of the two vectors uh, this subtraction of the two vectors can be treated as the addition of the given vector with the negative of the second vector that is to be subtracted how let us see suppose we have this vector p bar this is the vector p bar and we have this vector q bar let us consider we want to subtract the vector p bar uh, q bar from p bar we want to obtain p bar minus q bar so uh, if we complete this parallelogram we have seen that the diagonal originating from the common point between the two vectors gives the addition of these two vectors p bar and q bar this diagonal gives p bar plus q bar now here we want to subtract the vector q bar from p bar so for that purpose what is to be done let us see this subtraction p bar minus q bar can as well be expressed as p bar plus minus q bar the subtraction p bar minus q bar can as well be expressed as p bar plus minus q bar so we have seen the negative vector the concept of negative vector if we have this vector q bar the negative of this vector q bar can be obtained by drawing a directed line segment starting from this common point say o having the same magnitude as that of q bar but the direction of this vector should be exactly opposite to that of q bar so this gives the vector minus q bar so if this is the vector plus q bar then this will be the vector minus q bar and now we want to perform the addition of the vector p bar and minus q bar so we can complete this parallelogram with one side as the vector p bar and the other side as the vector minus q bar and now if we draw a diagonal originating from the common point between the vectors p bar and minus q bar this diagonal will represent the uh, addition of p bar and minus q bar and that is nothing but p bar minus q bar so this diagonal uh, represent the subtraction of the two vectors now this uh, let us give the names to these points so this is the point o this is a this is b this is c and this is d uh, a o a uh, b c d e c d c e now uh, this side this diagonal o e represents the addition of p bar and q bar and this diagonal o d 
represent the subtraction of the vectors p bar and q bar. We have seen that the in accordance with the equality of the vectors, this vector O d bar as well can be drawn from the point B to the point E. So, if we draw this diagonal, it is nothing but the other diagonal of this parallelogram O A E B. The first diagonal starting from the common point between uh, the two given vectors P bar and Q bar represents the sum of the two given vectors and the other diagonal of this parallelogram represents the subtraction of the two given vectors P bar and Q bar. So, simply by using this uh, parallelogram law of vector addition, we can obtain the addition of the two vectors as well as the subtraction of the two vectors simultaneously. So, one diagonal of this parallelogram represents the addition and the other diagonal of this parallelogram represents the subtraction of the two vectors. Because here the vector O D bar has the same magnitude as that of the vector B A bar as well as the direction of O D bar and the direction of B A bar are one and the same. So, we can say that uh, yeah. these two vectors O D bar and B A bar are equal in the magnitude as well as direction. So, O D bar is equal to B A bar. So, that is how we can perform the subtraction of the two vectors. So, that is the concept of subtraction of the two given vectors. Okay.